Hey, this is Brad, and I am at an undisclosed location uh, ballroom in some place in, in the United States. And we're actually doing a corporate event, hundreds of events like this that are happening all the time all over the country. And this is the kind of an event that we designed PVP3 specifically for. And so I just wanted to kind of give you a quick overview of what we were actually doing that's somewhat unique uh, for this kind of event. But again, it's a, about the flexibility of what you can do uh, with PVP3. So just to show you kind of the setup, I'm actually showing a, a camera shot here. We actually have a very, very large uh, LED wall. This is 4,992 pixels by 896. And we're actually feeding that pixel for pixel uh, for this large LED wall. And then uh, in the corners, this is actually a, a, a stage in the round. In the corners, we're actually running 1920 by 1080 uh, projectors. And again, all of that is being fed uh, by PVP3. And so this video switcher and all the camera shots and whatnot are being fed into PVP3 that we can then send to all these different locations. So I'd like to show you a little bit more about how that works. And we'll start uh, from behind the machine. So I've actually, I've got two setups here, a primary and a backup that we're all running through a router. So uh, that we gives us flexibility to try things out and be able to load content on the fly on one machine and, and experiment with it, rehearse with it uh, while we're actually doing other things with another machine. So um, we just have a standard Mac Pro here. Uh, my outputs, I've got a, an AJA HA5, which takes a 4K output out of, the, out of the Mac Pro and then splits it into four 1080p feeds. I'm only using three of those outputs, and that's for the left, center, and right of that large LED screen. So each one of those outputs is going to a separate LED processor. So even though it looks like a large single LED wall, it's actually three separate walls as far as the processing is concerned. And then I have uh, a, a feed here that's uh, just a decimator that's going to a 1080i feed. And then this is my, uh, my Decklink Duo 2 box. I've actually got four different SDI lines that are actually going on here. There are two lines uh, that are inputs from the video switcher uh, or from the router, so I can actually take in the camera shots and bring those up on the screen. And then I've also, uh, different times we'll route our ProPresenter machines, which are used for uh, the, the keynote presentations and the speaker presentations. I can bring those in, into PVP3. So again, it's part of the screen control process. The other two SDI, SDI lines are used for a Kabuki drop. That is to say a Kabuki curtain. We're, we're shining two projectors on there, doing an edge blend with that. And I can actually show you how we have that set up in PVP3. So here's my interface. And if I actually look at my outputs, you can see this is the LED wall, uh, and then I've got my Kabuki screens that are right here. So in fact, I'm actually doing six separate outputs here. Uh, each one of these LEDs is, is getting a 1920 by 1080 signal, and then the Kabuki screens are getting 1920 by 1080 as well as uh, my, my switcher feed. Um, and all of this, I can see my outputs that I'm actually doing on this uh, confidence display. So this is the left, center, and right portions of that large LED wall, uh, my other 1080i feed, and then uh, my Kabuki screens are, are down here. So if I start playing some, uh, some content for the, the Kabuki screen, you can see it's actually doing a data doubling of the Kabuki screen right here. Um, so it gives you the flexibility, again, in PVP3, we get the flexibility of actually being able to combine different outputs uh, for different uses, whether you're actually using it for a large LED screen where you need multiple outputs to feed so many pixels, or if you're doing projection with any kind of edge blending. In this case, the edge blending is actually done at the projector level because it's, uh, it's happening on both sides of that in the round stage. Um, but of course, we can do the edge blending in PVP as well. So if I were to actually look at my playlist, um, I've got all my, my cues that are laid out here, and I, and I can see with confidence, uh, based on the user interface, exactly what's going to happen when I trigger each of these, these cues. So I can see, based on the color coding, uh, that this is going to happen on displays one and three of my LED wall. That logo is going to go on there while this video is played in the orange layer, which is my layer two. So just in working and building the process, I've become very acclimated to these specific colors that, I've, that I have representing the one, uh, the left third and the right third of the LED screen, the center third of the LED screen, as well as the corners and whatnot. And because it's, a, it's, it's an awards show, much akin to the award shows that you see on TV, um, it, it can get very sophisticated in all the different media elements that, that uh, are part of it. One specific media element uh, or element of the show is the actual awards and giving away the awards. They had over 150 different awards that they were giving away. And so in doing that, um, they did it kind of uniquely. So we have a large 
again, 4992 by 896 video that's actually playing. You can see that's actually playing as a video backdrop right here. And then as I trigger the names of the award winners, uh, these are just uh, alpha keyed images or animations that are showing the, the person's name. And as I go through it, you can see how it just pulls up those different names as the announcers on the stage announce them. So a tremendous amount of flexibility, a whole lot of horsepower is, or a whole lot of processing is going on to process these two, you know, essentially 5,000 pixel wide videos uh, and decompress them at the same time and, and compute them all the while taking in the live video camera feeds that are actually going to the corner screens and, and whatnot. So um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of flexibility and the reason that I like to do this as opposed to have a separate screen control system or to, to control everything independently um, is because these cues see, need to seamlessly go from one place to another and typically in corporate events you want to go and dip through black before you go to different things. But if you don't want to do that, it's really, really hard to bring up cameras on uh, on different screens at the same time that you're fading out graphics and whatnot so the the transitions between these different cues can get very uh, very I don't know not not so clean um, so by being able to do everything in PVP 3 it gives me the ability to cleanly and seamlessly transition from one queue to the other uh, it's given us a whole lot of power and flexibility in this corporate event show and is giving us a lot of experience with how to uh, improve the software uh, for your events and whatnot and uh, we, we hope you enjoy these kinds of little behind-the-scenes videos. Hope to do more of them as we, as we do more shows. So thanks for your time. Hope you enjoy it.